Well, I gotta do some work on this thing. I uh, was cutting with it, and you can see I got a little hydraulic leak, but this cylinder, uh, the packing is blown. It quit, it quit operating. This thing is supposed to swing out, and it quit doing it the other day when I was cutting with it on the last 20 acre field. I was bailing or uh, making hay on. And there's the new uh, baler I'm gonna talk about. I've got a video coming up on it soon. I know some of you are, are uh, following the channel to see that, but my priority to get, is to get this fixed because we got rain coming over the next three days. So that gives me an opportunity to, uh, to get this thing repaired and, and ready. This first tripod here, the main tripod, right there. The gear's got a lot of play in it and the blades are hitting. You can see how close they are now, but um, I've got to pull this thing apart and rebuild it. So I'm going to make a video on it for those of you that uh, may need to uh, do it yourselves. So let's get this pin out. an oily mess but that's okay it's not under pressure it shouldn't be This has got one of those pins you gotta pry out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh yeah, look how toast that sucker is. It's just disintegrated. Well, you can see how bad this, this seal, I mean, it's just, the seal's completely gone and wore out. It's a wonder it worked as long as it has. Uh, I mean, this is all rusted. This is that groove that the pin slides in. And that's what locks the cylinder in, so Typically you can turn this collar when the pin's in here like this. You know, it obviously curls around inside the cylinder, but typically you can get a hold of it and turn that collar and pull and the, and the pin comes out. I had to, uh, obviously you saw, wedge it out with these pliers, but um, I'm gonna get, there's an O-ring here, there's an O-ring and then a flat face seal. And there's probably, there's a packing right there. And then you got your pressure seal and there's probably another some sort of flat face seal at the top I'm gonna get on Vermeer's website and see if I can find a kit on eBay or somewhere uh, one of the main websites if not I'm gonna run down to the hydraulic shop and just have them match it up 
All right, so next up is this uh, drive pod here I need to rebuild. And the reason why, as you can see this blade, it's all beat up. That's from making contact with this blade here. So if they're, if they're positioned just right, they will actually hit. See here, let's see how close they are. They will hit when you have a full brand new blade on it and it'll just trash it. And you can see how much slack and play I have in here. And it's not from, it's, it's not from the gear shaft going up through the gearbox. I've rebuilt that gearbox in one of my old videos or previous videos. It's the gear that's inside here and the hex shaft that runs through all these. So this main drive pod turns this first gear, which and then turns the shaft that runs all these at the same time. And all these are timed correctly, but this one's clearly out of time. So let me get started on it and it'll be easier to explain. So these three nuts and bolts hold the cutter bar on on each side. Roll this out of the way. You can see here, there's the other three. So let me start off by taking those loose. There's the cutter bar. So, you have to start out by taking these two bolts out, then you can take this nut off, and then everything starts coming off. I'm hoping, so you can see here, this line, this is a pod by itself. You take this turtle off, and here's the pod. These, th this guard here, there's three bolts on each pod. You pull this guard off, and that's how you can separate these pieces. This piece in the center is just a spacer, so I'm hoping by taking that off, and you have to slide everything off this way, I'm hoping I can separate it, everything off the shaft. So I don't know, it may be a fight, but we'll see. So anyways, once I get this pod separated, then I can take it apart and you can see all that play in it. So let me uh, unbolt this and see. get a big punch and drive this big long bar out so I'm gonna see how far I can go with it you can see all the pods are starting to separate and one thing you want to do is keep all these in time with each other you want to keep them all in the same spot or you'll get them out of time
Okay, here's that hex shaft that runs through all these. This one isn't too bad, but it goes into that gear right there. And this hole, that hex is almost wallered out. So I got a new gear set. I forgot to get the seal and there's two bearings in here. I'm gonna attempt to uh, look for numbers on them. See if I can find them on the internet. But uh, let me clear the workbench and get this set up there and get ready to take it apart. All right, I need to pop this roll pin out. All right, I tried heating this up. I couldn't get it off. It's wedged on there pretty good. So I'm hoping I can take this all apart and maybe uh, break this all down where I can get it in the press. So I'm just gonna see what happens. But there's four bolts underneath this plate. You have to turn it to get these Allen bolts out. So when you got one here, here's the other side. And then the other one is right there and then there's your fourth so once you get all that loose you got to kind of have to tap on it to pull it up and then there's your gears you got shims there's only one shim in here so hopefully i don't need more than one shim because i didn't order any extra you have to shim it like you're doing a rear end but see this is the only pod that takes gear oil to keep everything lubricated Everything else takes that EPO grease. It's like a thin, uh, it's a thin grease. Okay. All right. I used, I was able to get the seal out. I just popped it out like this. And it's a CB 25 by 42 by seven. So I'm gonna look that up, see if I can find one. I'm gonna run by Napa and see if they can uh, find it first, but The snap ring. Aha. There's a spacer ring. That's what was kicking my butt. There's one beat up shim. And then there's a snap ring in there that I was beating on. Okay, let me show you the whole reason why uh, the blades were hitting. So this is the old worn out shaft. When you slide it on there, look at the play it has. And here's the new one. nothing I mean just a sixteenth of an inch difference if that so it's almost solid and over here you got quite a bit
that's the whole reason why those blades were hitting all beat up here in the back so uh sometimes you can get away with timing these turtles i tried that but there was just too much play in this dry pod Press this bearing out. There's a snap ring in here that holds this bearing. Look how big that sucker is. You can see there's a snap ring. When this bearing's in there, there's a snap ring right here on that groove. You can see I had to split this part of this bearing race off with the torch. And uh, this shaft is supposed to press out of this piece. I even took the U joint off and I tried to press it out this way. Now I've got a 12 ton jack or a 12 ton press and I could not get this shaft to budge. So it's seized in here, which is fine because this spins with the whole unit. So if I can get the, this replacement bearing and go back with it, I'll be okay. So I think that's the route I'm gonna go, but now I gotta try to find a bearing. I was able to find the two smaller bearings at O'Reilly's Auto Parts and cross them over, but now I gotta try to find these. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> 